Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the next success cast. <laughs> success cast. Yes. Yes. Stutter McGee. <laughs> yeah. This episode is fucked. <laughs> Skype's kind of having its way with us right now. Oh, you're gonna hear uh, oh plenty my. of rebel voices. A lot of rebel voices. Get ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> are you, are your buddy ready? Is your buddy ready for this? Oh. My body? I, I don't think so. My body's very sweaty right now. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay, so uh, I think we should all know by now who the host of this is. But for the sake of things, roll call. Uh, this is Pi Disliker. Running this my is... 44. Oh my! I'm cutting your ass off, bitch. God, I cannot even introduce myself. Thug life! He got me off! He got me off! Damn! You, yes, you and go third. I'm... I'm... I go third, and I am not Deathborn. Alright, let's make this clear. I want everyone to know this. <laughs> That's how I introduce myself. So then who and, are you? Uh, I, I don't know. Who am I? What am I? That's what he asks everybody. Well, the, this, is like, what, this is like, what, your fifth appearance on my channel or something now? <laughs> my fifth appearance? Fifth? I, I think it's like his third. Okay, right. fine. Uh, well, you third? did the two interviews and... Okay, yeah, you did... Okay, third appearance, whatever. Ah! I'm such See, Bruni Monster is right. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, thug <laughs> life. Thug life. God damn it. He's getting brought that up again. Mm -hmm. Look, just because I would take out the trash before we say up the call doesn't mean that I'm a thug, okay? I mean, come I, on. I don't know, I'm man. Than that. A, I'm a hitman. Taking out the trash. That's... It reminds me of that meme, like the guy who just kills someone who takes out the garbage. Garbage day! <laughs> <laughs> you know that one? I love that meme. Garbage day! Garbage day! <laughs> God dang it, that comes off. <laughs> Like, that should be a sketch for uh, reactors like Cherry's Brody Monster taking out the trash, <laughs> and then someone just shoots him. Garbage day! <laughs> and the other person's face is a garbage can lid. Zabstracks, Sir Sonic HD, one of you gotta get on that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I want that to be a thing. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> I want to see that so bad. Or, or you know what, I could just edit that and put it in front of this video. How about this, Pot is like you're doing, and the other... <laughs> And someone else make it do. I want to see them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. My body it is, is so worthy ready. of a sketch. It is really worthy of a sketch. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I, I might throw it in the front of this video or something. Shout out to Max for the idea. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Okay, uh, we should probably move get along and topic. actually actually get some. Oh, no, man, we can just keep keep this going. Just okay. call this best com conversation ever. So, so well, You're the host, so... Um, I, I'm, I'm actually trying right now. <laughs> Alright. So our, our, our topic for the third episode of Success Cast is all about branding. Uh, we came up with a bunch of different topics that are relevant to a person's YouTube brand and uh, we'll get an idea. It, it, it's basically channel development so if you need to learn how to properly develop your channel there's a bunch of different things that factor in and we're going to talk about them. Yep. So, yeah, I uh, totally agree with that. Okay. So, so, so <laughs> glad, glad for your input. The, the first yeah. one, <laughs> it, it's very hard to get the three of us in here having a serious conversation. It's also the first time that all three of us have been in a call together. Yeah, yeah that is true. And we're finding out how hard it is. Facts. If you're speaking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you speak, you know, express yourself. Channel appearance. Yes. Yes, that's step one on the list. That's number one. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody start it off. Yeah. We're, we're, we're making progress. We're getting there. Baby steps. Channel baby appearance. Steps, baby so, like, steps. you gotta, you, when you make a YouTube account, you gotta choose your username. You gotta choose the avatar. You gotta choose, if you want, you can develop uh, your channel appearance on your on your channel page with your custom art and if you have videos organize your videos and stuff like that yeah we yeah, all do that's, that that's you, you need point. to be able to make yourself diverse from others make something about your profile picture your channel banner just or even just simply the videos that you do do something that makes you stand out from others whether don't it just be an alicorn yeah. <laughs> yes 
Yes. I do like that you mentioned the username because I think it is extremely important because people need to remember your name. When, when you write something really confusing, well, I, I had this... Um, Rockduff. <laughs> Rockduff. Like, there was this guy who made the video, Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie Funny Faces, his username uh, was just a bunch of letters that really didn't mean anything, to me at least. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't have never remembered that if I didn't take note of it. By the way, people, for the love of God, please don't use LeetSpeak as your fucking username. <laughs> Seriously, you're just gonna shoot yourself on the foot faster and then you can breathe. Also, the guys who put like XX and then XX after the username. Oh, I, I, I don't see that enough when I play video games. I personally think that's kind of a stupid thing to do. Like, I, I don't. I think it's kind of a child does that when they play Call of Duty. Like, they had their game attack and they're like, XX, Super Call of, uh -oh. of Duty Killer, XX, bring it on! <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, yeah, I know. I, I don't know what goes through their head. Seriously, yeah. I think it's kind of stupid to put the little. And answers. some people who are like, "Oh no, it can't." It, our name is not really that big of a deal. Here's the thing: we're not the only ones who actually say that the username makes a big deal. There are a lot of other people who give advice on YouTube and stuff who say the same damn thing. Don't yeah. make a stupid username. Pick something that is easy to remember, and just don't make it complex. Don't make it complex. Yeah, it's not that hard. Like, I think it was, like, the YouTube classes that they show on, on the, the Creator Studio. They mm -hmm. told that kind of stuff, right? They, they, they told everyone that the username was extremely important. So, listen to the guys who are at the top of YouTube. They know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they were scrubs Post at one point. Right? They, were, they were scrubs at one point, but they learned how to actually be good. Exactly. So, <laughs> learn from them scrubs. so that way you can not be a scrub for so long. They joined face. They're not scrubs anymore. 1v1 me. They, they, they moved out the sponge. <laughs> yeah, the only other thing is, like, try to get... Yeah, uh, uh, along with a good username, try to get a, a good-looking uh, profile image. Ask around if you have artists that are friends. If not, then you could start with the basic uh, Pony Creator OC. <laughs> it, I mean, to I mean, be fair, it's, that's it's actually fine. what I did for mine. That's, I actually just used a headshot of a picture from the Pony Creator thing because that's all I had. And then that's actually when I got how around... a lot of people get started. Yeah, and around the point of like 1K subs, I had actually got, I had actually done a commission to actually get what is my current channel profile and banner, and I fucking love it. Definitely don't use like a character from a TV show or something that doesn't represent you. Like if you yeah. use SpongeBob and you know you make Call of Duty videos, what what the <laughs> hell? What You're gonna look like a giant tool. Exactly. So uh, use something. Unless it's like in your branding, you know. I mean, call, unless call if you're of doing, like. Unless you're doing like SpongeBob voiceovers and Call of Duty, it, it all depends. Uh, it, the part uh, of it's like making, you know, part of it's your channel wow. identity. Wow, voices are gone, but there was. Uh... If it fits your channel identity, that's cool and all, you know. It's, it's. Make, yeah, make like it, if make it if his name is like XX SpongeBob Killer XX, then okay, use SpongeBob. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Just, the only reason I don't please use make sure like. That's relevant. The only reason I don't use a pony image is because, uh, well, I, I really like Crown Princess drawing for me. And, yeah, I, I don't like uh, commenting on a video that's not brony related. I don't like the idea of commenting on a, on a video that's not brony related and then having like 10 people point out, oh, you're a brony. <laughs> How did you win that medal, by the way? Like, on your character, there's a medal. What's oh, the story behind that? Uh, that's just uh, what Crown Prince drew. Uh, she just gave me an award for making that video. It was like a 40-minute reaction video of her of her animations and stuff. And wait, wait a minute, hold on. What? Back in the day, I made a reaction video to like... It was like 40 minutes long of pretty much every animation that Crown Prince has done. Right. And uh, I, I tweeted it to her, and she watched it, and she really liked it. So I guess I just pulled it off well. And uh, she decided to draw me that profile image that I have. She gave Which me an one? award. She gave you an award. Yeah. She oh, gave you the oh, wait, congratulations that, yeah. and a model. Yeah, you're you're looking at my Skype profile, which is my Gravity Falls one. That's that's completely different. but Right, it's yeah. the one that you use for YouTube, right? Yeah, Pied is like your swag. Yeah. Huh. I didn't actually not know that. Okay, so there you go. Yeah. You, you learn something new every day. Yeah. The more you learn. Knowledge. Knowledge is power. Yeah. But I still or... think it's a very attractive image. 
Yeah. <laughs> Pod is like was really happy that he got it for conference. Yeah. And it does stand Senpai. out. <laughs> Senpai. Senpai, notice me. Senpai, notice me. <laughs> <laughs> but it does make you stand out from the rest of the Brony reactors. Most of them are using a pony OC, and you're using like yourself, a cartoon version of yourself. So mm -hmm. it's it is unique and original. That's for sure. Yeah. Good, good, good for you. Good for you. Good Austin. for you. But I prefer pony. But yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um, we're making baby steps here. So. Personality number two. Oh, good God, personality. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, did Planet Psychoswag just quit the chat, or is he still? Ill? I'm here. I'm hanging. <laughs> there. I'm just letting you talk. <laughs> He's in the darkness, okay. just watching. Like, I, I wasn't sure. Like, I wasn't hearing from you. But uh, personality—that's kind of a tough one. I'm not sure what to say about it. I mean, just try <laughs> yourself, I guess. <laughs> For personality's sake, is yeah. I mean, more or less just to be yourself, but try to uh, uh, stick with one kind of personality for yourself like don't be like uh, a complete you know jokester and everything like that and then suddenly be super serious or something as to just like the randomest topic unless like it's you know something that deems necessary like don't flip flop if you can help it like I think, like, that, I, I, I think I, that's a general yeah. good idea like don't try and force anything mm hmm just, just stay like your normal self, and don't really try and like force yourself to do something. Yeah, just that, try and that, do what you're most yourself. comfortable with. Mhm. Mm I mean, that's that, that's kind of like the whole general idea of just YouTube itself. It's just, just be yourself on there, and that's just all you need to do. Like, it's not, it's nothing complex. Like, there's no complex formula saying, "Hey, I need to act this exact certain way, otherwise, I'm not going to get X amount of viewers in one month." Mm -hmm. I wonder if, though, like, if someone's personality is kind of boring, um, and he, you know, he, he knows that, and, and he tries to be a little bit more exciting and a bit more entertaining for the viewers, so you can change your personality a little bit to be more entertaining, right? I mean, Max, you're I mean, not I mean, boring. I mean, to okay? some aspects, I mean, to some aspects, yes. <laughs> well, in real like... life, I am extremely boring. You should know. You'd be surprised. <sighs> well, like I'm saying, like it depends on the aspects as to like what it is that they're trying to do, like. You you can actually change your personality a little bit, but like, just like don't go on the other end of the spectrum. That's what I'm saying, mm -hmm. because like, if you do that kind of thing, it becomes kind of noticeable. Like especially if you do one end of the spectrum in one video, and then you're on the other side in another one, because then people will realize that one or the other is fake, mm -hmm. and not your normal self. Yeah, people you know don't I mean? like the idea of uh, don't like the idea of someone trying to overforce something. They Generally, if they stick to a channel for a long time, they do it for them. And I, I think, though, most people, like, like in the beginning, it's more difficult. But once you start making videos for a longer amount of time, you become much more comfortable doing what you're doing. Mm. I guess like you I, change personality when you sort of make a character. Like, I, I can take Boxy, for instance. That's definitely not how she is in real life. That's obviously a character, so she changes uh, for that specific character. But if you are yourself and you play a game or you react to a video, then, yeah, act like yourself. So that's basically um, what and you need to do. it's not rocket science. It's not rocket science, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the Swag agrees. Oh, also... <laughs> Yep. We, we got a seal of approval on that. Yeah. <laughs> also, try not to be a jerk. I try. I try. I do my best. But some people still think I'm a jerk. A full they pie agrees. Everything. A full pie agrees. <laughs> you just gotta try. I, I'm totally gonna bring you a pie for BronyCon as a gift. Oh, no. Yes! Do it. Please do don't. it. Do it. And throw it in his face. No. I'm the pie like, I'm, like, like, I'm telling you, dude. We need to have it. Reactors like meetups, 2015. Not if he's gonna throw a pie in my face. <laughs> hey, if it helps, I'll hey, if it helps, I'll bring another pie. <laughs> <laughs> so that way, it's not just Max hitting you with it. Oh no! <laughs> Every reactor, bring a pie to Bernie Kind, and we're all gonna throw in a pie to Liker. <laughs> now we'll see why he really dislikes pies. Oh no. <laughs> All right, That's Max. Let's get started. That's a plan. Let's let's get this started. I'm gonna try to get as many people as possible. Oh, you can't man. see it, but I'm like rubbing my hands together and I like an evil mastermind. 
<laughs> All right. Okay. What, kind of, what kind of pie do you hate the most? I'm gonna make sure it's all the, that kind of pie. I'm not gonna talk but, about it. <laughs> give him what you won't like say one it. every pie. I won't say it. I, I'd rather leave it up to chance. Max, we'll just make one of every kind of pie we can think of. All, all right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, all right. Fair enough. How we'll about do. cake pie? Cake, cake pie. is a lie, Pie Slayer. Don't you know that? No. I hate that meme. Ah. Uh -huh. That makes me sad. It, that meme makes me really sad. I just. Uh -huh. Whenever I mention that I love cake, they just say the cake is a lie. It makes me feel bad. Crushing your dreams since 20 whatever. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, at this rate, we're going to be here for oh, a no. year. I, so, I wish uh, it's not right to crush your dreams. Yeah, number three, baby steps. The host, would you please uh, introduce like, this is yours. three? Okay, uh, it's good to, it's generally good to have regular uploading and updates, you know, you gotta have regularity for your channel, you gotta, you gotta keep oh. uploading, you can't pull a Jimmy Me Power. You, you gotta... Yeah, I, what's wow, you actually, Wow, you actually said his name beforehand, I was trying to not say his name, so I wasn't gonna be an asshole, but you just said it flat out. Well, uh, wow. it's happened. Okay. But I've seen, like, I, uh, uploading regularly is so important. Like, I, I was out for a while because of my car accident, and in, during that time, um, there was a huge drop in momentum and in the viewers and all that. They just, they just went to somewhere else because there's, there's, like, so many other people doing the same thing you're doing, so... Yeah, but like that was something that you couldn't help, and at least yeah. you, but at least you guys got a video out at least explaining what was going on. Yeah, that was pretty honorable of you. I to... mean, for that, yeah. and then like for when Big Rob stopped uploading for quite for the few months, at least he's made a farewell video, or at least just mentioning that hey, he's not going to be uploading for quite yeah, some time. Yeah. You do have a point there. Um, I, just, I hate if, it. If you have an active channel and then just leave it dead for like five, six months straight, people are like, okay, what the oh, fuck is the guy dead? I've, I've got a name in mind, but I just won't say it. I just won't say it. It's not Jimmy B. Power, but I've got a name. I won't say it. I can't. I can't. I, I, it cannot be named. The one that shall not be named. Jim's probably not going to see this, but I, I still feel bad that I said that. <laughs> but it's it, it is true, right? It, it's yeah. a fact. He he just disappeared, didn't say yeah. what he was doing, where where he's gone. He, he, you know, just just an update his, video. His focus is his focus is elsewhere. He did provide an update video, but then then he disappeared afterwards. <laughs> I didn't actually watch the update videos. Hopefully, it wasn't like, "Hey, I'm back and I'm going to be doing more frequent uploads," and then disappear. Cause I really hope that's not what he did, but I didn't actually watch it. That kind of was what it was, but we're we, we shouldn't oh, God. be talking about it. <laughs> Gosh. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> but yes, for the love of Batman and Robin, please stay frequent with your updates. Doesn't mean you have to upload every single freaking day. I do know some channels that actually do that. A good channel that's not related to MLP whatsoever is Steven Vlog and Steven Plays. I told Pat Liker about this before. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I love that channel because he is so active both in YouTube and out of YouTube. Constantly well, giving you updates and everything and anything regarding videos, life, everything. I think and Lavix is one of the really active Brony reactors. I mean, he uploads almost every day. Um, yeah, he's even like taking a hiatus now, but he recorded enough videos ahead of time to get him one video a day all through December. <laughs> oh, so he scheduled shit out too. I, I actually I thought I was the yeah. only one who did that. Mm-hmm. That's incredible. I found a calendar in my room back in November 4th, and I scheduled myself all the way up to December 18th. <laughs> yeah, right now, uh, Laddix is doing his Advent React, so it's, yeah, uh, one React every every day for all of December. It's pretty great. Yeah, but I remember there was a time frame in his uh, channel where he actually still, like, went a while without uploading. Yeah. It was, I randomly visited his channel, and it was like he was hadn't done anything for quite a bit, and I was like, huh. Yeah, that was a little bit, and he did have a drop in uh, activity, and yeah, uh, definitely when you have a drop in activity, your channel suffers, so you want to try to, uh, a good idea is to like, try to upload at least a video a week if you can, I think that's pretty yeah, reasonable. Yeah, I'd say that too, at least like two or one videos a week, um... The more, the more, the merrier. Like, if you can upload three, then upload three. If you can only upload two, then go for two. But uh, the more you can upload, just, just go for it. Yeah. 
Because people crave entertainment. They want entertainment at every minute of the day. Like people nowadays, they just they just grow more impatient all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I've oh, I've noticed man. that. It's incredible. I know. I'm part of some groups in which I have to deal with that. So. <laughs> like I just had uploaded a video. It was five nights at at, at Fuck Boys, a weird game. And <laughs> during the same hour that I uploaded the video, people were asking for part uh, for part two. Like, where's part two? When are you gonna upload part two? I just uploaded the first part an hour ago, and they and they already want the second part. Mm. It's, incredible. it's not a race. It's not a race to completion. They, they don't seem to understand how long it takes to make a video. It, mm -hmm. Especially when you put more work into it than other people. Do you guys do the audio mixing of your videos? Uh, sometimes it depends. It's like making which sure videos. the audio remains neutral. It depends which videos. I make sure like it, it never like gets like peaking or anything like that. Like if it gets to a spot where it gets like really high, I make sure to adjust the volume and everything like that. But like I don't spend like an hour or anything like that in like Audacity or something fixing it because generally, for whenever I do my videos, I don't ever have noticeable issues that are really needed, I think. Well, at least you, you make sure it doesn't peak, and that's already a good thing. Um, a lot of people don't. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Um, like a video I, I read to you recently was like one of the uh, episodes of uh, Elements of Insanity from freaking Inverted Shadow, and uh, there's a point in there where it just like fl flickers light, like really brightly, and he, he even has like a seizure warning thing on there, and it gets like super loud. So I had to drop the volume down to like negative twenty eight decibels. Wow. Damn. Because it was just so fucking loud. Yeah. Like when I listened to the video, I was like, ah. Oh. Especially when there's sound effects, like when there's an explosion sound, uh, they don't bother uh, lowering the volume, so they just put it like it is, and all of a sudden, <laughs> out of nowhere, and your yeah. ears just explode. But this was just like one loud, long scream. It was just like, <laughs> damn. I was like, ah. <laughs> I even said in the middle of the video, I'm like, yeah, I'm lowering that and editing. Because <laughs> that's, ow, that sucked. So, yes, just, that's a little Every, random thing that we added there with the whole regular updating and stuff, but just. Yeah. Everything's yeah. in the details. Like, I believe if, if you take the time to make sure the audio remains, you know, at least it doesn't peak, the, the people will. They will appreciate not, it. They, they, yeah, they're going to appreciate it for sure. They'll, they maybe won't speak about it, but, you know. They'll, they, they won't have their, their ears won't hurt, so they'll be grateful for sure. There, there are some channels, though, who actually don't, like, completely lower super loud volumes and instead just put text up on the screen saying super loud numbers or something like that or our rest in peace headphone users in 5, 4, 3, 2, and then the noise appears. So just that way at least <clears throat> gives them a little headway that, hey, something's going to happen. Yeah, at least they put the warning. Uh... <laughs> I just thought of something. Uh, that'd be funny if if they actually, someone actually did that with the whole text thing, and someone fell asleep at their keyboard and it did that loud noise, and that's what woke them up. <laughs> They're just like sleeping at the keyboard, all of a sudden you hear a loud noise, and it's just like, <laughs> like those. I don't know if you know those uh, ASMR videos where they really whisper and then they try to get you to, to sleep. Those oh, videos. If you yeah, had a jump scare there. That. Yeah, well, be, that, I'm not watching that. That would that would that would piss me off. And I actually tried those, and I, I sort of fell asleep. If, if there would be a jump scare, I would really jump out of my chair, uh, for <laughs> sure. For sure, because I'm like, oh, so relaxing, and out of nowhere, boom, just a jump scare. That'd be amazing. I have to try that one day. Giant fuck you from the <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, people would definitely be pissed if the creator would do that, though. All right. Okay. But, yeah, we rambled off of the whole topic of being up, uh, regularly updating and uploading your stuff, but yeah, that's pretty much the main general point for yeah. here. Try to be consistent as much as you can. Mm -hmm. And if you have, a, if you have to stop uploading for some point, at least put up a video or some kind of like Twitter message or something in order to get to your fans saying, "Hey, I'm not going to be doing this for a while." Definitely, definitely yeah. do that. Definitely do that. Yeah, and uh, I, we're probably gonna cover this in a little bit but if you do have uh, if you do provide those updates on a twitter account or whatever uh, you should probably mention that it's on a social network instead of you know mentioning it at, in youtube so that way people have an idea mm. 
Yeah, if, if you're active on other sites like Twitter and stuff, I mean, I myself, I don't personally use Twitter very much, and I might actually start getting into it. I'm not sure about that. But um, if you are active into it, make sure that your viewers on YouTube are aware of it, so that way they can at least check Twitter every so often just to see if maybe you have an update on there saying what's going on. Yeah. I, I don't even plug you my stuff there. I just mention it and uh, make sure that it's on my channel page so that way people know to look there you know if yeah. they look there they know that it's there it exists it exists it, it, it's there for the people so. who are interested mm -hmm. all right max so mr host are we going on to the next subject yeah we're gonna talk about uh, uh the unique selling proposition i heard this term used in uh and wise uh a fantastic, amazing video, which is which is in my success playlist. Playlist. It's it's a very very great video, and I I listen to it like twelve times a day. He studies it. It's gonna appear on screen right now as he's no. Don't speaking do about that it. to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make. Don't do that. I don't trust him. <laughs> that's, to do it. that's double the work for me because then I have to edit it in, and then I have to remember that it's there and put the annotation Time stamp there. Timestamp when it is. Like, uh, I. I Annotations. <laughs> Forty. Yeah. Oh, actually, no. no, it's not gonna be forty-seven. No, it's not gonna be forty-seven. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Um, I'll, I'll. I might leave it in the description. Uh, yeah. But yeah. So you actually do it. Unique selling proposition. It's all about. Um, it's all about making sure that your content stands out from everybody else's. What makes you? What makes people want to go to your channel when there are tons of other channels that are just like yours? You gotta. You gotta. <laughs> You gotta be a little different. That's a good one. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure, but I mean, I think it goes back to being yourself. Um, Just being yourself and be unique. Mm -hmm. Like, try to be unique, but don't change who you yeah, are. Yeah, don't, really. don't try and uh, completely. Nope, don't be a pretender. Don't, don't try and emulate someone else. Don't try and be yeah. like us. <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't be us. We're losers. <laughs> Hey, now don't no, say that like, about Max, it, like, okay? It, don't, you... Like, if if you have like your YouTube idol or you know like your favorite YouTuber ever, don't strive to be like them. Strive to be better than them, but yeah. not in the aspect of being competitive. Yeah, just... like that's another thing that is mentioned that we should mention on here on YouTube is that it's not technically a competition because no viewer is subscribed to just one channel. Yeah, we don't get awards either. Well. You you uh, do, you do get a reward if you hit like a hundred thousand subscribers. Exactly, uh, that, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, but it's not I like I noticed it because Max commented on it, Max's it's, video. It, yeah, but it's it's not like we're getting, it's not like we're getting the award show with the nominees and the and the trophy. We're getting very much money. It's over not Hollywood. Award. Yeah, it's one day, Hollywood's one day, forever. then it'll be a competition. But until then, <laughs> until then, it's not a. Not a competition, really. Kind of like we're on America's Got Talent. Talent. <laughs> <laughs> I I upload videos. I upload videos, so um, yeah, it's still America. Kind <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like our moves on the ground too. <laughs> it's just the same act every every round. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean. <sighs> You try try to make original content. I I know it's kind of a hard thing to do, but um, if if you've seen, you know, you you notice a video that's kind of interesting and no one reacted to it. Talking about you know you guys, you've seen like a my pony video that's interesting. No one reacted to it, and it's getting sort of popular. Try to get to it as fast as you can. So, you know, first try to get try to try to be first. Do not good. be the also random note that relates nothing to a good channel. Don't fucking comment first on a damn video. <laughs> yeah. If if you if you comment I first, had, I literally have that word banned in my comments list. So yeah, I, I have it. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. That instantly gets flagged uh, for yeah. review. Yeah, I have yeah. I have first through third uh, blacklisted on my channel as well. So it's it's under review. I think I'm the only one who doesn't I'm gonna, I'm gonna mind. Slap every who I don't mind it. I, I've I've seen it too many times. I it's can't, not a good comp. It. They just go to your video and say first, like the fucking competitions. Like you're not you're not you're not doing anything. Your comment makes no sense. Like there's no point doing it. It's not relevant to the video. 
Yeah. It's... Like, you upload a video that's like 45 minutes or something, and you'll get a comment 10 seconds after you upload, and it says first. It's like, okay, I know you didn't watch it. And sometimes it causes people to get into arguments as well. Yeah, some people reply to first, and they add, they add things like first to get a blue shell, or first to get, mm -hmm. you know what, and, yeah. you know. Yeah, and that's, that's so. another reason why I have them marked as I do, is that way it, that can't happen. Mm -hmm. Because fuck that. It's stupid. Yeah. But but, uh, yeah. but getting being the first to react to a video is obviously a good thing for reactors. Uh, if you can, it definitely that. is. So that but, way, that way you show up in the related videos section, <laughs> yeah. and you can leech off the more popular reactors, like me. I have the chance that sometimes I'm I'm, I'm last to react to a video. Like Arthur in the Horse Program, I was in the last ones to do it, but I'm still yeah. up there. Yeah, I was I was one of the first really, reactors really to do that. I, I did it. I, I was one of the first to do Cartoon Horse Program, and now that video has yeah. gotten a lot of views. It's also got a lot of dislikes on the original video. Mm -hmm. It's something to do, by the Psycho. That's, that's why it's where it is right now. <laughs> yeah. It's my fault. It's your fault. It's all your fault. You're fired. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah. Just, I just want to emphasize this one more time, just for the sake of things. You're not supposed to be doing this as like a competition. Like, you're not. It's not a competition to be better than another YouTuber because, as I said, no person is subscribed to just one channel. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Just in case, just in case there's some wise ass who's trying to do this, no, you are not subscribed to just one other channel. Fuck you. I know you have another account. <laughs> yeah. I know. There's always, there's always always that one wise ass who is just like. Oh, it's, if you ever say never or always, there's always that one wise ass who tries to contradict you. I just yep. know it. But, uh, so yeah, some... uh, aside from being the first to react to a video, you want to you wanna try and stand out. You want to try and be your own person. Uh, no matter what type of channel you've got, you don't want to completely emulate someone else because it shows. It shows. And then uh, fans of the people will probably notice and... They might just think, oh, this guy, he's just trying to be like this guy or whatever. And, 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 and if you absolutely want to be first, like, still, don't, don't rush the video. Like, don't make it as fast as possible and, like, I, I'm first, but the video turns out that it's completely crap. So, and then people are like, well, that was disappointing. And then they'll go to another channel and they won't subscribe to you and they won't stay. So, it's good to be first, but it's a lot better to have good quality videos. That's true. You got to make a good impression. Uh, and... That that's part of the thing about being unique, you you know, standing out I, with having good quality videos. I have a good example of that. Like when Five Nights at Freddy's Two came out, a lot of people rushed their videos to be the first one to to play the yeah. game, and mm -hmm. that was a huge mess. Like I was watching some videos, and you could totally see that the videos were rushed, and it, it just it was it was a complete disaster. Yeah, they were trying to get on board that hype train, and you know, <laughs> forgot to bring their luggage. Like you right. just. You're you're on a, you're on a train, but you got nothing to do on there. Congratulations. You just you jump jumped. on the train, but he sort of missed it, so he fell in the. I jumped on the train, but forgot my ticket. <laughs> yeah, and he got he got kicked out. Mhm. Mm That's actually yeah. a better analyzation of it, really. Yeah, it's a but... it's it's a good analyzation, totally. <laughs> don't, don't still don't rush the videos, really. That's uh, that's what I'm saying. Don't don't rush the videos. Make them as good as you can. Yeah. What's it, what's the host next move now? I'm, I'm the, the next I mean, the next technically one. Technically, the fifth one's up, but I think we kind of did this one already. No, I, uh, consistency well, is a little bit different than regularity. Uh, specifically, what I mean with consistency is to have a pattern when it comes to your videos. You know, you want to have similar videos come out afterwards. Oh uh, God, you know. I know who I can curse at this for. Me. <laughs> no, not you. Well, I mean, I could, but at least yours is getting more videos than this other person, or getting more views than the other person. Uh, he's gonna hate me for saying this, but that's uh, eight, But eight feet. Oh snap! Eight feet's channel. I swear, I keep telling him every time I play games with him that his channel is almost as good as dead because the only things that get anything more than like a hundred views is his reactions. Anything else that he does is just like. He does pretty much everything and anything. Like the when I saw his channel, I was looking at it, and there was yes, just that's literally what he sells me every time I talk to him. He's like, I, if I feel like recording, I'm gonna record it. Mm -hmm. That's just what he does. 
Uh, that, that's, I mean, that's fine for like a mentality state, I'm sure. But well, like, but like when I was playing with him, he filled up a, he said he filled up a four terabyte hard drive full of recordings that he hasn't edited yet. Good God. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, dude? That's I literally, I, I'm not, I'm not even kidding with you. I have so many gameplay sessions of him that has already been recorded that I could get through with his uploading schedule. We could get through the entire year of 2015. Well, at least he uploads them fast, though. I, he uploads, he can upload like two, he, three videos a day, right? He does upload a lot of videos. He does, he does upload them often, but he records so old in bulk that he's like, this, like his last Minecraft video he uploaded was recorded like seven, eight months ago. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, wow. God damn it. But yeah, just like, that's, I'm sorry if, he, if you, for some reason, are actually staying and watching this video, but yeah. And I feel weird when I, I recorded a video like two weeks ago and I'm like, yeah, I should edit that. But seven months ago, that's, uh, <laughs> I, I don't hear that. that often. I still feel bad about my last success cast. <laughs> oh, God, why? Yeah, that, that one took a while. Oh, yeah, because, yeah. Yeah. I was doing other stuff like reactors like Cherry 5 and stuff like that. Nah, don't bullshit everybody. You're just, you're just procrastinating. Yeah. <laughs> You hated my you, my you, participation in that episode. You, you caught you me. Hated me. We got him. Yeah, but definitely try to uh, try to have uh, similar content come out because if someone subscribes for one type of video, yep, yep. and then they find a bunch of other videos, they they're gonna forget why they subscribe to you. Like for for you guys, most people subscribe for your reaction videos, right? I, right. I mean, it's kind of obvious they yeah. did. Um, so if you would stop making reaction videos for a month, people would go berserk. Your, your channel's going to Yeah, that's... <laughs> mm -hmm. Everyone would get a fork and a torch, like, rating your channel. Where are the reactions? Where are the reactions? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we got to keep uploading reactions until we get another series that's just as popular. And then, yeah. then, we, can, then we can set that to the side and get on to the new thing. But, like... <laughs> You don't have to restrict your challenge to just one singular thing. Like, I mean, I do like two or three different types oh, of Oh, yeah, things, I do like, a ton of things. But, like, just do like a couple of things and stick with those because that way you can still have like your own like little sections of uh, fans that you're still able to, you know, entertain just fine. And as long as you're not like emphasizing one series like constantly and then you're updating the other one like once every two or three months, then things are going to be okay. If you, if you keep. Thing, if you if you keep pace with everything there, it's gonna be fine. I I noticed that you're playing Equestria Bound, but I don't want to see it yet because I don't want to spoil myself because I I'm thinking of playing it too. So it, it's, when, it's 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 pretty cool, and I, I, I never I never I finished regular so. Earthbound, but I do want to finish this one. I I I, I I'm I'm sure it is. Like, how can it be bad? <laughs> how can it be bad? I, I really like it. It's also got some pretty damn good humor in there. They change okay. all the text and the characters yes, to change all everything, the text, right? all the characters are different. Wow. Everything. I really have to play that one day. And yes. I, actually, I actually got a SNES controller that has a USB port. I got that. Someone gave it to me, and I was like, yeah, maybe I could use that and play Equestria Bound one day. So. Did you ever play uh, Mega Pony? Um, I heard of that, but I didn't play it. Um, oh, I, that, that, that's another uh, good point of fight game. That, that one's really fun. It's also really fucking hard. I yeah, uh, the original Mega Man's were already Maybe hard to begin the with. The fucking first stage. I chose Rainbow Dash's stage first, and like a fucking moron. I got my shit pushed in. <laughs> I had to edit so much shit out, and but it was I'm, still like an hour long video. I gotta ask. So, um, are you ever gonna play Super Lesbian Horse RPG? I know I I'm not. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I mean. So far, I've done my dentist to make sure I don't put anything that relates to, like, R34 stuff on my channel. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't know. I'll have to think about that it. That game I is mean, very PG-13. I've heard, like, the only thing I've heard about the game is the fucking title, but just, like, just that title alone, just like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that you're suggesting this to me makes me think that it's going to be even worse. <laughs> I, I, it's, it really strikes fear, like, into people just <laughs> s saying the title. They're like, oh, God, no. <laughs> but oh, I heard man. it's not all that bad, but still, I, I would, I, I don't, I would, don't feel I, if, if I do, I would definitely put 18 plus on the t in the title. I don't think it's 18 plus, though. I think it's, like, 13 plus. Have you played it? I've seen some gameplay of it, but I haven't played it. But I've, I've seen, like, 
a, a couple videos of uh, people playing that game, and it looks it looks pretty good. It but it, you know, it it doesn't get too bad. It's PG thirteen humor at bo- at best. I'll, th- I'll I'll think about it, and if I do, Max, I'll let you know. <laughs> Definitely let me know. I'll send you a message uh, on like Skype or something. Yeah, because I cannot play this by myself. I, I I I can watch someone play it, but I cannot play it by myself. <laughs> Max doesn't want to do it. <laughs> I cannot do Max, it. Too. Max, your profile picture is a lie. It says destroy your sanity, but you don't want to destroy your sanity. I I I've been through you know contradiction. I don't want to go through that again, even <laughs> though it's not as bad. Oh wait! Oh wait! You played Van from Equestria? Yeah, he played Van he from Equestria. He recorded like four videos of that before and, and he gave that, up. And that, and that fucked you up? I only uploaded two videos because people were begging me to stop. Oh, oh was it just two videos? I thought it was like four. Two videos. People were begging me to, to play it, and I, as soon as I started playing it, they were like, "Please stop! You're hurting yourself. Please stop! This is torture <laughs> for you." Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't like think they, they, were, I don't think they felt pity for me. Yeah. I don't think it could be any worse than your Fluttershy Pantsu reaction. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Just fucking has uh, it, his neck sliced open, the other dude shoots himself in the head. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, the thing with Fluttershy Pantsu was that it was a lot shorter. <laughs> all, yeah, at least. Uh, yeah, I didn't even see short. the original video first. I saw the freaking Rancid's Like Cherries thing on it, so all I saw was no, 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 no. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. And then I saw the video, they react to you, I'm just like, uh, 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 no. <laughs> oh, a lot of people have been using that clip. Like, uh, I reacted to uh, the one Latix and um, uh, Xabstracts made. Yeah. No, 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 no. No. This is just a fitting clip. Uh, it's I, just I such an entertaining it is. clip. I, I do course, like that clip. Of course, like, the only clip that is ever used of me is my fucking headbang. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> it's because, yeah. like, in your regular reactions, you've got the you've got the small screen. That's, like, Somebody one of the very few videos it's with your big one. screen. Yeah, but if you zoom in, it's going to be low quality. You know, you could just simply ask for my raw footage. I keep them for a couple of weeks before I throw it out. And I, I just like the, the, the expression on your face. Like, you're just yes. really serious, and then you remove your glasses. <laughs> it's just perfect. Mm-hmm. Fun fact: the headbang is actually about five about five seconds long, just looped a couple a couple times over. Yeah, yeah. I, I I couldn't headbang for a long period of time. I was actually starting to get a headache. <laughs> I was just like, oh. I I do think it sounded better with running in the nineties, though. I think it was a little bit more fitting. That was very fitting with running in the nineties. Yeah, I like the song. The song that I used in my thing for it was just something I created in a, in a music program, and and that was all I used. So it's not even an actual song. It's just something I spitballed together in a music nice. program. Nice, Monster, <laughs> the super nice. multi-talented. He's super multi-talented. I never finished it either. That's a bitch. I never finished the song. You should release it on your channel. Oh. <laughs> release it on iTunes. <laughs> At least it on your channel, make download. that ad revenue. I didn't I send for a download. <laughs> no. Brony Monster Vivo. Hell. <laughs> no. And it's just him headbanging for three minutes. Oh, <laughs> the same loop over and over again. <laughs> He's got like 50 oh. different videos. You can't see it, but I'm thing. hiding my head in shame. <laughs> oh, God. Why are we rambling so badly to the point that it's talking about my head banging? <laughs> yeah, we were pretty bad with the rambling. Let, let's get to number six, Mr. Host. Max is making it even worse, god damn you. Okay, so the next thing on the list is uh, remaining relevant. Uh, I know Max suggested this, so why don't you uh, start it off this time? I, I think it's extremely important, especially for guys who've been around for a long time, like uh, big channels like, I don't know, Smosh or Jenna Marbles. I don't, I don't watch them personally, but I know they're there. And um, YouTube suggests them all the time. Exactly, exactly. You you said it. Fuck you, YouTube recommendations. <laughs> you said it. Uh, so these guys at least you know are recommended by YouTube, but some other channels like um, I'm thinking of perhaps Olga K, who had like a hundred thousand views more than that when she started, and now has barely fifty thousand views per video. It's like she's not able to remain relevant, so she created a gaming channel, of course, because that's what is popular lately, and uh, that still didn't help her. She's still not able to remain relevant, so finding the key to remain relevant is not an easy thing to do. 
uh, in my opinion at least. You really got to stay up to date with what's, you know, uh, popular on the internet. Yep. Also, <laughs> well, I've seen it many Robo times. Voices are back. Yeah. Cut <laughs> I know you didn't want to, you know, cut okay, me off, but. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Did the voice. It's a robo voice. Robo I think voice it's pretty good now. Robo voice. Well. It's Skype. It cray. But, like, it, it's, it's also kind of relevant in a way to um, fucking Jack D. Herbert as well, in a way. Because, like, when he stopped doing his Jack React series for a while, his things kind of tanked, too. Yeah, that's that's pretty true. Um, but that's also because like, like because all he had uploaded for like a few weeks after he like after he stopped uploading uh, Jack Reacts for like a few weeks and all all he did was like um, I think it was like Wii, Wii Party or something. Yeah, me Party or something like that on Nintendo Wii, and I was just like, okay, sure, yeah, those are getting like four thousand, five thousand views, and then you scroll down and see other videos are getting like seventy thousand. I'm like, okay, okay, yeah, there's a big difference there, but it's not like completely dead. And then next, and then I stop looking at stuff for a while. And then I hear a few months later, it's like, "So uh, Jack Reacts is back." I'm like, "Wait, what?" So not really. And it's like it, it is kind of, but like he's just doing it whenever he wants. I'm just like, okay. I mean, it's fine. It's just I don't know. <laughs> it was just weird just to hear it. Mm. Uh, but yeah, remaining relevant, I'm sure, is a big problem for channels that have been around for a long time. Oh, Especially like, when you reach five years, um, yeah. like in internet time, that's 10, that's a, 15 yeah, years. That's, that's like a lifetime, man. Lifetime. Um, but anyways, yeah, so... We're where where were we? Like, uh, we're okay, relevant. are there any other suggestions of how to remain relevant? Like, aside well, from just this. aside well, from I, thinking of what's popular. I don't know if the robo voice mess, messed up with that part, but I, you know, trying to uh, remain up to date with what's popular on the internet, that's, mm -hmm. that's no-brainer. Uh... If you, I, I, I'm still surprised though that games like Happy Wheels, for instance, and uh, are still popular uh, up to this day. I, I, I just don't understand why people are still watching mm -hmm. uh, that game. My face in the in my keyboard every time I see a fucking Happy Wheels video. I think I, I, I think it's just because Happy Wheels in general is a pretty good game, and so you know not everybody is gonna get sick of it if it has. Enough appeal if it has enough of a quality. To happy it. War, Happy Wars, or Happy Wars, Happy but, uh, Wheels is overdone. How many Minus years? Buddy is also overdone. Minecraft is overdone hey. to hell and back. Yeah, but people are still watching it because it still had that original appeal. Minecraft uh, sure is adult. I I think it does though. Like uh, especially like people that. Uh, may have not been into it back in the day. Maybe they're checking it out later. It's, it's a I don't know. I, I, I just feel like there's just way too many Minecraft videos on YouTube. I, I feel that way too. Seriously, Minecraft videos. I, I would be interesting to know how many Minecraft videos there is in, uh, on YouTube in total. It's got to be in like the... <laughs> Minecraft contains 10% of all YouTube videos. <laughs> Maybe even more, like 15%. <laughs> 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 so many Minecraft channels out there, it's incredible. And they, and they don't even get popular, too, because there's just so many Minecraft channels. They just, you know... I mean, there are hurt. a couple that are popular that has, like, yeah. 300,000 subs and stuff, but, like, it, there's just, like, when you compare that to how many who have, like, 10, yeah. then, yeah. I mean, but the thing is, is that Minecraft is a good game. Happy Wheels is a good game. Five Nights at Freddy's is a good game. They're, yeah. they're quality games with their own reasons for people wanting to play them. And Keep in mind that these are... The fact that we're saying that they're a good game is based on opinion. It's, not, it's not, but it's not like, you know, it, it's not like the simulators out there that become popular for a, one point at a time, but really afterwards they're only good for making YouTube videos. Pony Threat Simulator? No, I'm... No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like sur like <laughs> surgeon simulator go. and stuff like that. It's it's good for at one point in a time, but you know, unless unless it's generally fun to play, uh, then it's what, what, not gonna last. What was that simulator where, where it's like a convention? I, I, 
I'm gonna try to get the name back. You guys keep talking. I really need to find what the name is. It's okay. You're starting to sound like a robot anyway on my end. It's probably me though. It's probably me because okay, I see the swirly guys. thing for Skype. You sound like a robot on my side too. Yeah, so it's probably me actually. It, it's not. It's not just you. I hear it too. Oh, okay. It, wait, wait, who was sounding like the robot? Was it me or Max? You both sound like... It was Max at first. We all sound like robots. Just for a it's, it's all three of us. Skype is having its way with us. I blew a lab. It didn't lab. The robot family. Oh, it was like a Tumblr convention. It's called Dashcon. Dashcon. I got the name Dashcon. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that, was... that was a real convention. <laughs> It I was so awkward, so cringeworthy, uh, incredible. The ball pit. <laughs> I heard how much of a train wreck that the was. Ball... That was that was the best convention of all time. The ball there was pit. so much money put into it. Yeah. And there was like the, the, there was like a huge empty room, and there was like ten people, three person in the ball yeah, pit. Yeah, and people were like getting scammed out of money and stuff. It was a train wreck. It really was. It was. It was a depressing calling to hear about. But yeah, so there, there was this uh, dash gun simulator which I've uh, actually played. That was uh, extremely hilarious. I should have perhaps made a video about it, but I, I was stupid. I played it. I spoiled the game. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fine. It's fine. I don't think any of us are going to be playing that simulator on our channels anytime soon. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, what do you know? Someone's going to upload it tomorrow. Uh, after you uh, uploaded the success cast, someone uploads it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you want to move on to number seven now? Let's just yeah, let's get to it. Okay, appealing to a bigger audience. This, that's well, to do that way. is to just simply let she go. I mean, that's just how you do it. <laughs> I, I I couldn't say it better. You have to let she go. That's that's what you got to do. That's, that's how you do it. Case closed. Brony monster. Thug life. Yo. <laughs> let she go. I am the hitman, sir. And you gotta come back to normal, noob. No way, man. Hardcore for life. Oof. <laughs> 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 like you're just going, oof. <laughs> intense emotions for him right now. <laughs> Too intense. Oh, man. All right. Yeah. How does one appeal to a bigger audience? Play Happy oh. Wheels in Minecraft. <laughs> My brand. My brand. It's just pretty much it. Just establish your brand. Uh, establish your brand. Uh, try to make different stuff, I think. Uh, experiment a little bit. Don't be afraid to, you know, not do the same thing every single time. You know, if, if something doesn't work out when you experiment, then okay. But if it does, then it becomes your next big series. And woo, you, you, got, you got it good. One thing I did a few years ago, back when I first started YouTube, which was like fucking five, six years ago... Uh, this is, shit, this is back when I was like 15 years old. Uh, <clears throat> I had actually experimented um, various stuff by creating a bunch of different channels and then uploading things separately to each of those channels to see which ones would go somewhere and which ones would stay dead. And whichever one took off, I would continue doing that. Yeah, not a, not a bad idea. It's pretty clever. Um, That's pretty I'm interesting. Doing that. And I did that for like a year or two there, and uh, by the way, this is back when I was little as hell, so 98 subscribers was a lot. <laughs> but uh, Back with I, a good I, old YouTube interface, right? Yes, oh. yes, exactly. But like the whole 98 subscribers was like, oh yeah, this is really cool, but I had to stop uploading for like a year or two because fucking high school and the beginning of college was kicking in. I was like, I just... I can't do this. I need to focus on my studies and stuff. And by the time I got my shit together in college and came back to it, two years had passed, that channel was as good as fucked. Mm -hmm. Which is going back to the whole thing of regularly updating because if you don't do it for a long time, your channel is in the graveyard. Yep. That, that's and, that's the entire, and believe it or not, that entire endeavor is the whole reason why my channel exists is because I tried to continue that channel, realized it was dead, and I decided... Fuck it. Let's make a new channel. And I ended up just doing this. Like, if people are still watching, you, you gotta upload, like, consistently. Remember that from this episode of Success Gas. It's so important. So, so important. Shout out to anybody who actually survives this entire thing in one second. Yeah. 
If any of you watch this thing from start to finish in one session, damn. Just damn. I took breaks. Like, I would watch 20 minutes and get back to it with the uh, second episode you made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Th these things are long, but... There's only a few videos that are long, you like an hour or something I can watch in one setting. YouTube loves the minutes watch thing, so this is good for YouTube's algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, kind of like her, it's just like kicking back, going, "Yes, everything's <laughs> going to plan." <laughs> he's like, he's like that dude from The Simpsons. Excellent. He's got to put boobs in the thumbnail just to make sure it works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, two hour long boobs in the thumbnail. <laughs> boobs, ass, naked ladies, dancing cats, talking babies. <laughs> <laughs> Was that actually a song? It, it's not the exact words, but it's part of the. It, but most of it is from that thing that Tabuskis made way back when. That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> Man. That's all I remember from it. But there's, yeah. there's like five or six things he says there, and yeah. I know that like, uh, uh, hot girl, hot chicks, uh, dancing babies, and uh, cute cats, something like that were like three things that he said there. I was just like, okay. oh my gosh. You don't, so you don't need to sell yourself out with boobs in the thumbnail, but you need to try and... Uh, I, I, I think it's always good to experiment because you never know which one of your videos is going to take off. And al always try to put quality in your videos if you can. Uh, don't overstress too much, but if you overstress, overstress because you're putting in quality. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you right now, one of us will have um, his face on a girl in a bikini or something like that in the thumbnail. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Not it's this inevitable. Video. Not this video, because it's th Thug Life. That's this video. <laughs> Good. <laughs> thug Life. Okay, so now there's gonna be a third picture of Garbage Day! <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. gonna be me with the gun, fucking Max uh, getting shot, and then Pytus Liker as like a hot chick in the background going, <gasps> Oh no. <laughs> I can see that right now. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Artists out there. Oh, we are waiting. No. <laughs> <laughs> we got a thumbnail. We got a we got the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, oh god. I love that. I love that. That's amazing. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> oh, you got to receive uh, a text. Who's this? It's Isa tube. Well, she's sleeping. <laughs> Good God. Uh, she couldn't well, sleep. Well, you she heard her sleepwalking, right? She couldn't she sleep. sleep. This she isn't sleepwalking. This is sleep texting. Yeah. And now a Twitter uh, message. Uh, but uh, she actually does sleepwalk, I think. It's funny you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> does she make a video while she's sleepwalking? I, <laughs> next <laughs> time she comes here, I'm going to film that. <laughs> I'm gonna stay up all night with a camera next to her, and I'm just gonna wait for her to get up, and then <laughs> just film it. <laughs> she'll wake up, and she'll actually wake up at some point and go, "What the heck are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I'm doing art. This is art. <laughs> this is science. <laughs> this is science. Yeah. <laughs> I was staying up all night watching Bill, 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 and now I'm a science guy. <laughs> So, so I got compelled to do science on my own and sleep and, and record you while you're sleeping. That's not weird or anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's only going to be about 50,000 other person who could possibly watch this, so don't worry about it. No yeah. big deal. Uh, as, as the picture has said, we will destroy your sanity. Yeah. So, do any of you guys have any other ideas for appealing to a bigger audience? We got so much sleepwalking. <laughs> That's true. If you have something so unique for your channel that nobody else has it, you know, it's like newsworthy, then upload it to your channel. Also, uh, you know, be careful, yeah. you know, copyright and stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Like, one, one of my friends, uh, he has a gaming channel, and he uploaded a video of the Luigi death stare being on the news and that, that was just like a huge appeal because the Luigi death stare was a big thing at the time and uh, that got him a lot of views for that video and it got him a Is lot of views subscribers. I think so yeah. That's weird because normally uh, if you 
if you repost um, things that are, happened on news too early or something, uh, the news people actually like get pissed off. Or if it's like old news, they don't care. But like if it's things that happen like within like a week or something, they usually don't like that. I'm gonna look it up right now and see if it's still up. It should be still up. Well, if it is, then you're gonna see one hell of a stare. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's still up. It's still up, and it's got over oh geez, uh, over five hundred thousand views. He actually uploaded a, a compilation of the death stare too, and that got over him, 500, that got him almost two million views. What? Yeah. Damn. That video got him almost two million views, and uh, he's how many subscribers does he have? He has. He doesn't even have ten thousand subscribers. I'm gonna say this right now. That is a one-shot wonder channel. Yeah. Uh, Anything definitely. and everything that that channel does from here on out is gonna be completely lackluster. <laughs> if you come to that channel from that video, you're not gonna watch another video from. But it. it did give him a nice boost. It really did. It did, sure. But it's all better to have the views spread amongst <laughs> yeah. your videos rather I mean, than only on he, one. He's he's still uh, he's still uh. A gaming channel, but one video yeah. should not define your channel. It doesn't define his channel, though. I mean, he's. No, it does according to the view ratio. According to the view ratio. No, in that case, it would be two videos. <laughs> Irrelevant. <laughs> it's still the same thing. It's just like something that isn't really like him playing a game or something is what's got like million of views or something, Shout and out. everything else has got like maybe a hundred. Shout out to my buddy Kagato right now. He he's the he's the man. He 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 was one of my friends uh, when I played a lot of Smash Brothers. So. Yeah, Akito, yeah. have yeah. fun. Yeah, if I'm being whatever. Yeah, we played know. we played a lot of Smash Brothers back in the day. That was that was my thing before I got into My Little Pony. That was my thing, Smash Brothers. I think it was every person's thing at some point. Because mm. Smash Brothers is just that awesome. <clears throat> I think especially Brawl, perhaps. I mean, Brawl was kind of a big deal. Maybe more than the one on Wii U and 3DS. I feel like there was more of a build-up toward it. Uh, yeah, maybe. but there's also a lot of more people who don't like Brawl. Yeah. As opposed to everything. <laughs> there, there's but... a lot of Melee lovers that hate Brawl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as, a, as a Brawl player, you get to experience that. <laughs> Everyone's biggest gripe in Brawl... That fucking slipping mechanic. Tripping. Oh, uh, yeah. Tripping. The, the, the tripping, tripping, slipping, whatever. Same thing. Tri tripping. So. You got me tripping. Ah, uh, stumbling. Ah, uh, tripping. Like, that really is just, like, the silliest thing they could have added. Yeah. But they, I guess they don't want people doing what they do in, like, the fucking Melee and Project M tournaments where they're just, like, constantly, like, shuffling, like, left and right, left and right, yeah. like, super speed, just to make sure they, they can't get hit. Mm-hmm. Like, I see that shit all the time, just like, wow, just it's calm your tits, let the guy respawn, and then kick his ass. <laughs> have you tried a new Super Smash Bros. online, like the, the one on Wii U? Or I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't have the uh, one for the 3DS yet, unfortunately. I haven't it's... played the Wii U version yet, but I've played the 3DS <laughs> version. I have the 3DS version. I've, I've, yeah. It lags so much. Yeah, the it Bra Brawl did so the same much. thing. It Brawl did, does the same yeah, thing. Yeah, but so. uh, the Brawl was using Wii, and that's a weaker um, internet thing, though. Like, uh, this maybe. better. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, maybe if you're using the Wii U adapter, maybe it's better. I don't know. He's gonna look it up. Rambling champs. Rambling champs. Yeah, hashtag rambling champs. That's... That's what we do. Like, every single bullet point we have rambled on a different topic before moving on to the next one. Every single one. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's gonna be trending. <laughs> well, what do we got here? Hashtag Fucking rambling game. champs. Hashtag thug life. Hashtag let the ramble go. <laughs> let the ramble go, oh man. Uh, but number eight this is the last one, Lee. So, doing activities outside of YouTube. There's a bunch of different things. Oh, live streams, God. charity live streams, live uh, streams, social networks, yep. uh, shirts. Matt Max knows where where that's at. You really consider that an activity? I yes, think I think so. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I think just I, I think he just wanted to bring that up. Yeah, I did want to bring that up. That that's uh, you're about half right. 
I know why I'm right, because you mentioned it before we started recording. Yeah, well... You're like, just... oh, by the way, Max, I'm going to bring up your shirt, okay? Thanks. <laughs> We, hey, I mean, that's an important part of branding. If you want to develop your brand... Uh, My brand! You, know, you need to develop your brand if you want to sell shirts. It's just, it's just how I mean, it is, man. It, 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 it doesn't work as much as you probably think it does. I mean, I, I can probably sell uh, one in two weeks, if I'm lucky. I, I mean, well, you need may... you need to get that "Let's You Go" T-shirt out. Then they'll be flying off. Then, the, then off the they'll be flying off the shelves. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. they will. All of the memes Soon. that you wrote down from that thing needs to be, each become its own shirt. Yeah. Th that uh, that type of shirt would have the most swag. Five shirts in a month. That, that that like my swag detector is detecting that the "Let's She Go" T-shirt has like about a thousand percent more swag than any of the other t-shirts no offense but that 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 let she go is just that amazing uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna try to make that one uh, extremely special just for you thank you uh, but as far as the shirts are concerned like even though if i if i do get a sale i get such a little percentage of, of the sale because i don't it's spreadsheet it, we get it, most it's, of it. It's through someone else. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that, I've, I've that happens that most times with monetization platforms. Whether it's YouTube taking their 45% or Patreon taking their 10% or uh, the spreadsheet. Patreon takes a percentage? Yeah, Patreon takes 10% yeah. of all of the money. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, how do you think the channel stays up? Like, they have to get something out of this. Yeah, that, that's got a good point. I. <laughs> I don't want to start talking about Patreon in that video because I would be rambling for even more. All right, I gotta so let the not. ramble go. Yeah, I gotta right. let the ramble go. I, I think monetization in its own right probably deserves its own video. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Who knows? Maybe Max will return. Mm. But it is interesting we'll get to get a viewpoint we'll get some of someone that's sat. actually selling shirts. Maybe we'll actually get some <laughs> other poor sat to join us. I'm gonna return with Flying Shark. Yeah. How's it going today? It's and then me. the call will die. <laughs> 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 we will all die from the flying shark. Yeah. Oh, I look sad he's gonna join out of nowhere. <laughs> well, then, then we would have a party. We'd have a party, man. <laughs> We're having a party, and you're invited! Oh my god, my voice cracked. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it. But, uh, if, if we want to get back on track... No. Um... Social networking is very important. Make sure you uh, try and figure out which social networks you like the most and which ones that that your audience is using the most. Uh, personally, I like Tumblr the most, but not that many people are using it, so uh, I'm most active on Twitter. That's like the next big thing. I'm not gonna make a Facebook, but uh, because I, I don't I don't like Facebook, but uh, Tumblr and Twitter, I'll I'll go with those too. Those two are the ones I'm most active on. I, I know it's not really outside of YouTube, but we didn't mention the fact that doing collabs with other people can also help in the channel development. Yeah. So, um, uh, collabs, oh. I think, might deserve their own video. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you tomorrow you have a collab with Ratchetness. Is that going to help your channel? Mm -hmm. And you, you close it on it. You know that's going to get you some other stuff. Uh, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably going to get me 50, subs, yeah, yeah, 50 yeah. subs in a day. Hell, I won't lie. I, I know for a fact that's why Swift Wayne tried to collab with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm calling him out for that because he knows it's true. Call him out. Call him out. I know that's it's right. fucking Call true. out Swift Wayne for that. I am. You might as I well know, call me out too. That's why you I did a collab you know, with Laddix, and that's why I did it with me. I mean, it's it's. I mean, it's not. It's not. Totally he was like, "Hey, true. make sure you upload it on your channel." I'm like, "Okay, fine. I'll tell you what. I'll put it on mine, but you need to do uh, a video on your end saying that, hey, it's on my channel. So that way, he's at least pulling a little bit of weight on his end." Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Collabs usually go that way. They they need to go both ways. You know, you can't just have it one way. You gotta have it both ways. Like. You guys were in the call, obviously, but, like, you should have hear, heard his, like, voice of depression when I told him that maybe he should put it on his channel. Because, like, his voice went, like, super energetic to just, like, oh, well, I guess I can put it on my channel. Yeah. Like, I was just like, okay, yeah, I see what's going on here. I, I did get I a, see what you were doing, Swift. I did get a lot of traffic, though. Like, uh, Max, when you uploaded your reaction to reactors like Cherries 5, I got a lot of traffic. More than I thought I would get. It was quite a bit. That, but it makes sense, that, though. Yeah. 
It does make a little bit of sense, but I kind of surpri surprised at the same time because uh, the, there was mixed feelings about reactors like Cherries 5. A lot of people were like, what is this? A lot of people <laughs> were not familiar, of course. Um, yeah, but there were that percentage of people that really loved it. So people gave it, it a chance. Makes a lot less yeah. set. I guess it also confuses them more because like, it says episode 5, and to my knowledge, you didn't do the other ones beforehand. Yeah, he didn't do 1 through 4. He, he just suddenly jumps into a series called that. episode 5, and they're like, well, wait, what the hell? Where's 1 through 4? Because we sort of had an agreement that I would react to uh, the, the, the fifth one, the fifth like we one. talked about it. Yeah, yeah, um, but, but, see, yeah. but they didn't know that. Yeah, uh, but perhaps that's going to... You know, some people are going to be interested in watching the other ones, yeah. um, just to see what they are. Hopefully, mm -hmm. yeah. some of them did that. But bouncing back to the whole collab thing, it's just that, just a refresher on the thing where I said twice already, is that YouTube is not really supposed to be a competition here. It's because, like I've said numerous times now, I'm going to be a fucking broken record by this. No one is subscribed to one fucking channel. Yeah, and, and it's a bad thing to make it a competition, especially if you talk trash about a certain YouTuber. Uh, I know some people did, and they saw their channel dying right in front of them. Oh, yeah. Um, you don't want to do that in the, no, in the, under no circumstances you want to talk trash about some other YouTuber, even though he might be smaller. You don't want to do that. Yeah, don't worry. We won't name any names because people already know. Yeah, yeah, those channels just, like, you might you might get a lot of hate, and some people say... All publicity is good publicity, but at the same time, people are gonna people are gonna get over the drama, and you're not gonna be relevant if all you do is talk about drama. Wait know? a minute, hold on. Who said all publicity is a good publicity? Oh, they, it's a phrase. It's a popular th phrase. They're fucking stupid. Get caught outside naked in the middle of the city. That's not good publicity. I don't know. I don't know. No, uh, nothing. You're gonna be the laughing stock in the entire fucking city. You might be, you might be the laughing stock at first, but hey, you'll, you'll get. No one's gonna go up to you and say, "Man, you're maybe, cool maybe you'll get it. Maybe you'll get to be on Oprah. I don't know." Oprah, that's punishment. <laughs> Shot fire. Maybe you would have more chances to end up on Ellen DeGeneres than Oprah. I don't know. She seems to be more into it than. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't I don't really watch those shows so I can't I can't tell the difference. I don't either because I don't even have it where I live so mm -hmm. I just see some clips sometimes on YouTube in the most viewed section and then they recommend it. Mm -hmm. I think I'd rather deal with Judge Judy than be on an Oprah show. <laughs> <laughs> Judge Judy. <laughs> <laughs> we, ha we have our own version of that. It's funny you mentioned that. We have like our own French version of Judge Ju Judy here. Um, <laughs> and it's kind of funny because uh, the person isn't even French to begin with. She's actually from um, uh, Ottawa or somewhere like that. She's, she's from somewhere else in Canada and when she talks she has the accent and everything. So Maybe it's, it's all funny. facade. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did, did you guys want to talk about live streaming a little bit? Um, Ash would be a good one for that, and so would you, but not for me because I, my one live stream didn't go well. You need a good internet. That's okay. all I need to say. I, I, <laughs> I personally think the best way to promote your live stream is to upload a video indicating that you're live streaming. That way all of your subscribers know that you're streaming at that particular time. You, Because if you tell people ahead of time, there is a chance that they're going to forget about it. I mean... Uh, and don't don't start streaming in the middle of like a Wednesday afternoon. Like I know some people who do that. There's like ten person watching, and Aye. they have like thousands and thousands of subscribers. Yeah. Hey, I needed to do it on that Wednesday. And even then, uh, if you don't want it to be a mainstream live stream, if you don't if you don't really care you about that many viewers, uh, you can promote it on like Twitter or something. That's what Max did a couple of times. That's what Ratchet has done a, a few times. Just uh, str just n n noticing that they're streaming on uh, social network helps. Also, um, another thing is that uh, make sure that what you're streaming is also still relevant to what you would upload on YouTube. Because, like, if you're just doing something completely out of blue that makes, like, no sense compared to anything you've ever done, your chances are you're not going to have someone come to that bit, to that stream. <laughs> uh, about that. I sort of did that. I did that, too. Well, let, well let, let me put it this way. I am giving advice on something that I can't do. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Take my advice with a grain of salt and yeah. die. 
I, I, <laughs> yeah. I still Just think that. my most successful live stream was when I was. It was all about cleaning my desk. I was just cleaning my desk. That was that was seriously. Yeah, what your the live streams was. are kind of weird. It, it did, but uh, I, 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 had, I had Andrew, my my buddy Andrew, to help me out. Uh, so we just kind of hung out uh, and, and like streamed while I was cleaning my desk, and uh, we were chatting with viewers and stuff. Uh, I think it was like part cleaning desk and part Q and A. Like I was trying to answer questions at the same time. Wait, you, you you seriously live stream cleaning a fucking desk? Yes, yes, I did, <laughs> and it was my what? most successful live stream. He actually did. He actually did. Yeah. I saw. Max, it. Max, is he serious? Yes, he's he's totally serious. He he did what that. What the hell? Yeah. Okay. I and I a lot think of people I watch I think it. I still have the uh, footage on like on my on my computer. The 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 one that actually made the most sense was when you were live editing uh, reactors like Cherry's. Three? I, I did that for reactors like Cherries Three and reactors like Cherries Five. Those were pretty successful too. Yeah, th yeah. Th th those were those were good live streams. I, I like those live streams too because it gave me more uh, encouragement to get the editing done. It gave me more motivation to get stuff done because I was Less lacking motivation. Yeah, and it also helped give me ideas too. Like people were suggesting ideas in the comments, like Zabstracks and the Cheetos. <laughs> That's like his Jesus. That's oh, that's that, his that is thing. his Jesus. That's definitely his Jesus. Yeah. Wow, that that clip just just the yeah. whole the whole Jesus thing. I am so looking forward to reactors like Jesus. I am really looking forward to it myself. Uh, apparently, he's gonna use a lot of clips from Good Burger. That mm. that one movie. <laughs> I, I, I love welcome Good Burger. Welcome to Welcome to Good Burger. All about I, Good I, I think they yeah. said like Good Burger was a bad movie, but I I just really liked it. I don't care what anybody says. That's the only quote I remember from that movie. I don't care if my nostalgia floods my head. I don't care if it floods my head. I still love Good Burger. Because we're all I only about that Good it. Burger. I only saw it through the Nostalgia Critic, which is one of my favorite. Um, mm -hmm. Entertainer of all time because I don't consider him a YouTuber all that much. Oh yeah, because he posted. He used to not post much on YouTube. I think he posted yeah. more on Blip. So. But I think I think he's absolutely brilliant when he does. Um, oh, yeah, I don't he's know if got you have the fans. I, yeah, I've watched I watch his stuff like at least twice a month. I think. Like the Anger Video Game Nerd and Nostalgia Critic are kind of the guys who started everything. The, yeah, they're like the classic reviewers that everybody tries to rip off. <laughs> oh God! Do they do that? John Tron, John Tron, uh, admitted. Yeah, yeah John Tron admitted that in one of uh, one of his panels. Uh, what was that? John Tron admitted that originally when he started reviewing, he was kind of like, "Oh, you know what? Uh, I'll be the inter the angry video game nerd for more modern games like Nintendo 64 and stuff like that." And then he found out every other YouTuber was doing that. <laughs> Well, at least he wasn't. Least, as... At least he learned not to stay on that fuck up. Yeah. At least he wasn't like the irate gamer. I don't know if you know oh, that guy. Man. That guy is a total ripoff. If... Like he. Oh. I, I, yeah. You don't want to. As a kid, the I thought irate that was actually gamer. the same channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I mean, was like, wait, 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 why, why is, does he have two videos about this uh, same game? Oh. I wait. mean, I don't even like hate the irate gamer. Uh, he said the exact same quotes. He, like he, he's got like, he's probably got the worst situation. <laughs> you, because if you're seen as a, a ripoff, now you're seen as the irate gamer of <laughs> blank. Uh, mm. That's the thing. If only he had admitted being inspired by the Eager Video Game Nerd. He never did. If he only had done that, it would have been already a little bit less worse. Yeah, yeah I like in my first React video, I, I, I po I said that I was inspired by Jack D. Herbert, Skittles of School, and Ratchetness. I watched those guys all the time, and I just <laughs> uploaded it just to see what I could do, and did well. Yeah, when I started out, I really didn't have any source of inspiration. But uh, at one point, <laughs> at one point, I I found out about all those reaction react uh, reaction channels, and I did say that Jack inspired me a little. But that didn't go well. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I guess in my aspect, it's like mine's kind of similar to the whole like not really inspired to do it because like I had known of Ratchet at the time. But not Jack T. Herbert. I had found Ratchet first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think and, most people found yeah. Ratchet in this yeah. first. But um, I saw his channel and saw like a few of his videos, and then like I stopped watching his stuff for 
I don't know, like a month or two, and to start watching other things. And around that time, that was when I started uh, decided to create another channel. And I was like. Well, one thing I know I do a lot, uh, besides just simply playing games, obviously, is um, I like watching a lot of the fan-made stuff that people make for MLP. And I'm just like, well, one thing that would be cool is if, uh, if I were to record that, I could actually go back and watch them and go, yeah, that was, that actually was a really good video. I see why I was like that when I watched it and such and such. And, and you know, get, like, nostalgia when you go back and view them again. You it's, it, it, it's, 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 like a, it's like a video record of, like an, of, an, of an event that you did. You made and me discover that, a bunch of videos, by the way. I just want to point this out. <laughs> like Star Pony, I had no idea it existed until you reacted to it. I, that, I, I do that sometimes. I, I sometimes yeah. search for low-view videos um, that have potential, and then I react to those. That's why I did Star Pony. Cause I, I looked at like the first five seconds of it, I'm like, this looks really good. And this has potential, so I did it. Yeah. And I just started uploading uh, reactions on there, and it just happened to take off. And I'm just like, okay... And then, as I was getting into the series for, uh, and uploading for like a month or so, I was like, "Oh yeah, that's right, Ratchet. I remember him because he was in like one of my related videos." And I was like, "Okay." So I went back to his channel, and then I started watching more reactions from him for a while. Oh yeah. By the way, point uh, one upon cell too. Uh, Ratchetness always related on your channel, guys. I always see him. Like <laughs> he's always, always there on Alex Size's channel, on your channel, always there. You know what? Because you're always watching him. He, he, it's he deserves it. He yeah, he deserves it. It's it's a shame his other videos, you know, you know, doesn't get as many as much attention as oh, his reaction yeah, videos. His his uh, gaming videos are actually pretty entertaining. I thought the Sonic Boom one. Yeah, I, I really like the Sonic Boom one. Yeah, you too. I also love that one. Yeah, yeah. I've been watching uh, his Sonic Boom videos and his NBA videos because I watch a lot of NBA. So <laughs> it, it's, NBA Jam. Yeah, it's new, it's original, and it's really entertaining. Uh, we got a slam jam, you know. <laughs> Come Don't on, a slam. Slam jam. And welcome to the jam. I listen to that song on a daily basis. Do not get me started. Uh, I'm uh, not even ser I'm, not, I'm not even joking. Like that's literally in my favorites list. Next success cast, Brony Monster is. <laughs> Brony Monster is the next Charles Barkley. <laughs> Pinus Liker tests Brony Monster slam jam. Yeah. <laughs> Do I even lift? Do you, you lift, bro? Dude, you gotta get your song finished so that way I can make no. a Quad City DJ I have to remix. I program in like half a year, no. Well, then remake it. Aww, now I have to learn just, to again. Just, Eventually, Pirate Psycho is gonna just, release a CD with. Just remake it so that way I can make the Quad City DJ remix. <laughs> I did that with Master Max's theme. And the, with the fat asses. Fat asses! <laughs> <laughs> wow! All right. Ah oh, man. Oh. But I, I, I seriously, I still feel bad for for poor Will. Um, yeah, man, he's been through so much. Poor guy. Stop making my fun of my friends, God. Stop making fun of my friends, okay, God. <laughs> yeah, that that was probably my favorite moment in Reactors Like Cherries, the Lost Episode Three. <laughs> It was, it was a good one. Was a good one. <laughs> Whereas with reactors like Cherry's The Lost Episodes 4, it was Dark Matter. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> the, yeah. The scream. That scream. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> and then he just passes out. <laughs> oh, man, I, love I love that so much. <laughs> Oh, I had so much fun with I, that. I, I pray to it before I go to bed. Uh, Dark matter is love. It's not, it's not the, fu it's not the fucking helix fossil, dude. It's, no. Yeah. That okay. wasn't the uh, dominoes. Okay, I think we I think we've covered everything we need to talk about. Nah, I think this video needs another half hour rambling. You, you think so? You think uh, you think we can get those minutes watched? Yeah. Damn. You, know, you know, it's like that that one corny song says, push it good. <laughs> if you get two, uh, not, not quite two hours, but if you get one hour and a half of minutes watched, I would be extremely impressed. Uh, YouTube would, you know, yeah. YouTube would send you an award. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're, you're lucky if uh, your average video is like 
viewer retention, 25%. Mm. I get like you're three lucky, minutes. You're lucky, to, you're lucky to get 25%. Yeah. Just... Actually, my React videos tend to do pretty well with that well, audience Yeah, because retention. you don't put as much afterthoughts into them as like I do. I, my fucking afterthoughts are two times as long as the yeah. reaction itself. Not just that, but I tend to put like a lot of reactions in one video. And I may just make them. Well, then in that case, though. like I've been doing a lot of marathons lately. Like, for instance, my Halloween marathon the got Halloween to one, yeah. that. That one got to twenty thousand views. That was the first one to reach twenty thousand views. So, I think I need to do a celebration video for that. <laughs> celebration. Well, the, 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 I don't know what I'm gonna PMV. do, but I, I, I beat it. PMV is behind Halloween marathon now. I'm just saying. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, Halloween Marathon beat it to 20,000 views. So that, that the Halloween Marathon, I got to do something for that. Got to do something for it. Hmm. Chica Knuckles, Densis, number yeah. two. Knuckles versus Applejack is my freaking most feared thing. Mm -hmm. And that one passed fucking, uh, that video from Silly Hill Studios. Um, fucking, what the fuck was that video called? Oh my god, I feel like such an idiot for not remembering Didn't it. Didn't your beat it PMV video get like over 100,000 views though? I'm looking at it right now. No, not, no, it's not there yet. Um, Knuckles vs. Applejack's at 150,000. Wow. And... No wonder why your channel's doing so well. <laughs> and, oh yeah, Fall of the Crystal Empire, that's at about 89,000. God, you, you get way more views. Where's, where's beat, it, P, beat it PMV's at 37,000. My most popular video just got 20,000 views. I'm I'm happy with it though. Yeah. Okay, just so we're clear, I was not trying to crush Pratis like her uh, <laughs> dreams. Or it was my dream. It was, it was my dream. I was not trying to be an asshole with that. Okay. It was my dream to get twenty thousand views. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, oh, my most viewed video is one hundred fifty thousand." <laughs> yes, sorry. <laughs> it's okay though, because I do have another uh, channel, my Pi Disliker channel, and I got like a video that's around three hundred thousand videos. It was just a random video. Damn, I what's mean, the video? It was it was just a dumb <laughs> let's play that I recorded when I was fourteen, uh, or was I sixteen? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a course. dumb. I I think I was sixteen, and I recorded it in two thousand eleven with a bad mic. And it was a let's play of an obscure, an obscure Scooby Doo PC game. It was just really old, and I felt like playing it because I knew I could beat it in 40 minutes. <laughs> so I already pictured the dislikes so, on it. Uh, yeah, it does have a bunch of dislikes, but it also has. I think it's like two thirds likes, one third dislikes. So that's pretty good considering the quality of the video. If, if it makes please. you feel better about me crush, accidentally crushing your dreams with a view count, my lowest video view has 141 views. Uh, yeah, my, and that's because my that lowest... video is that video is listed as um like one of the ones that you can only access by clicking through annotations. Well, my Still lowest, use annotations. like my lowest, my lowest is like under a hundred, I think, but that's way old. Scooby Doo Actually, Showdown and Ghost Down. I want to point this uh, out for if people are looking for it. Don't watch They're... that video. It's bad. watch it. Don't watch also, it. Uh, Random fun fact about this: the video that has only 141 video uh, views is that that's the fucking clip that gets used the most in the fucking Rant is like cherries thing. Not the headbanging one, but the fucking dance. Oh, my I... damn dance that's on that uh, on your fucking things there. That is the thing that has so little views, but yet it's like the, the most frequently used thing it's, from for you. It's the best, but it's Reactor, it wasn't reactors like dancing. It was in reactors like dancing. Yes. Show your moves. <laughs> it was uh, it was real quality content right there. Really, yes. really awesome. I will not, not dance at reactors like Meetups 15. No. He's totally gonna do that. Yeah, he is. If I dance, then Pirate Slayer has to get a pie in the face. Oh, okay. Every yeah, yeah. My lowest viewed video is at 36 views, and that was released last year. Okay, but, so, but that uh, was also when my videos weren't as high quality content. Okay, so Pilot's Laker is going to link on screen the video with only 36 views, and you guys are going to get it over 100. It was, you know what? I actually, I am actually going to do that. I'm going to link it in the description. Uh, it was actually like one of my first motivational videos, you know, just because I felt like a highly, highly motivational, and I was talking to one of my friends who was a writer on film fiction, and. He was getting depressed about stuff, and I tried to cheer him up by thinking my mindset that you are just as good as anybody else out there. Uh, regardless of the statistics, you just need to 
you just need to try your best because uh, regardless, everybody has their own starting point. And I, I don't remember what I said. Uh, I might watch it later, but yeah, it was it was a pretty inspirational video. You are just as good. Yeah. 18 minutes long. It, yeah, it was... Uh, yeah, well, hey, it was back when I had 200 subscribers or something. I don't know. It was, it was, I, I enjoyed that, making that, though. It's, I'm actually proud of it. And, um, I'm trying to, okay, you're, you're, you're getting close to, uh, 4,000 subs. Slowly yeah, but surely. Uh, Did you beat Big Rob? Uh, oh, how many subs? Yeah, I, I, I think he's almost at where Rob is. I think he's like almost. I, 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 I'm pretty sure I passed Big Rob now. You actually, yeah, you passed Big Rob. Yeah. It's only because he stopped uploading. As soon as Big Rob comes back, he's gonna gain like a thousand subscribers. Spoiler alert: He is on his way back. He's on his way back. He's like, gonna like, pass like he me is, again. Like he just finished college. That, that's or, why or I didn't even classes. really want to indicate that he passed me. I mean that I passed him because I have a feeling that once he <laughs> does more, pass. once he does more videos, he's gonna be right up there. <laughs> hopefully he doesn't. Yeah. Hopefully his channel does, isn't like you know quote, yeah. quote unquote dead it's, or, or anything. From no, that it's slow down. Hopefully he picks up. Soon. It's gonna be so exciting when he comes back, man. It's, <clears throat> it's gonna be great. Is he going to react to the reactors like Series 5? I, I really think he will. I mean, like... If he I somehow hasn't seen it yet. I he's seen a couple of sketches, I think. That's what he was yeah. saying. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's seen, like, one or two sketches, but he, Rob also said that he has a short-term memory. <laughs> so he, he tried to, he tried to confirm me not to get worried. <laughs> Don't we all? Oh, man. Yeah, that's true though. Like I did react to that YTP that Latix made uh, a week later, and I forgot most of it. So, it's mm, it's it's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's just you know it, it was all right. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're, we're we're stretching the video. We're, now. we're really stretching it. Yeah, no, we're can, rambling. Can we can we can we can we sign off? Yeah, can yeah, we... I think I got the extra minutes out of there that I wanted. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's just a few extra I mean, minutes. I mean, you know, we can you. we can continue rambling once the recording. Is done. We'll we'll just have our final dismissals for the uh, video. I, I think the most important thing about the video is that uh, you know you got to upload cons con uh, consistently. Yeah. Uh, consistently. As much as you can. Consistent. Consistently and regularly. Yeah. Like you don't have to quote unquote like set a quote schedule. For yeah, it, I don't have a schedule. But like, yeah. Some channels do, and they actually uphold to them. Shout out again to Steven Vlog, Steven Plays. They actually follow the schedule. Um, but not everybody needs to do that kind of thing. Just, like, you know, don't go, like, you know, four or five videos in one week, and then next week, one. Yeah, spreading out your like, videos is a good idea. If like, you, like, if you uh, make five videos, don't upload them all in one day. Spread right. them out. Fuck that, no. Do, do like, uh, like, three, maybe four videos a week is, like, a good average, I think. Like, doing more or less is just, you know, a little edgy, I think. Mm hmm Well, I don't know. I mean, s some people can appreciate a video a day. It depends on the channel. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, like that, like, three or four a week is, like, my personal opinion as to mm -hmm. what I think is, like, a good average to use. Like, some people can see it on more, but that's other channels. It, it's it's like a learning thing. You'll you'll figure it out as you go as to what schedule is like the most fitting to use. What Always time. depends on what kind of videos too. Like if you do animations, of course, of course, yeah, you don't even yeah, yeah. upload three or four videos a week. Uh, so yeah, I, yeah. I'd say perhaps one a month would be good. Yeah, if you're doing it's a little different. Uh, depend, Once a month, depending on how long your videos make. Yes. Yeah. If you're like Silly Philly Studios and you're making like full blown animations that are like you know yeah. multiple minutes long, then you know, it's gonna take a good amount of time to do that stuff. Yeah, and but if you're doing even, like a if you're doing like a twenty second animation, then even you know, Silly Philly Studios started uploading more often because they're uploading other stuff for the Patreon. Like they're uploading uh, tutorials now and stuff like that. And I th so. I think the reason why they were able to do that is because since they're not just restricted to MLP now, they're able to use more different animators. Mm -hmm. Because there might have been some animators who were like really good at stuff, but just not good at doing MLP stuff. Yeah. And I did like it. Is it Mewtwo? That was. That was really yes, nice. that thing was fucking fun. No, it is not Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah, I I just love that Kermit meme. It's it's you know it's my trailer for reactors like Cherry's Four. So <laughs> it's it's beautiful. Oh oh, it's Mewtwo. 
Is it Jesus? Is it Jesus, yeah. <laughs> no, it is not a Jesus. <laughs> ah. Okay, are we the done Jesus, now? The Jesus meme will never die. Are, okay, can, can we like sign off? Can we, can we, can we, can we say our goodbyes? You're the host! Okay, okay. Uh, Max, Brony Monster, you guys can say your goodbyes first. Well, I was the third guy, you know, back when I <laughs> started, so I'm still used to yeah. being last. <laughs> We'll so go, go one. Ahead, we were we were going one, two, three, three, two, one. Yep. Oh, okay. so that that's how it works. Well, um, <laughs> if, if some people are still watching, you know, thank you for giving you know more minutes to Peter Saker. Definitely a good thing. Uh, he might get his reward if you truly stick to watching the entire video in one in one go. I don't know if people are actually capable of doing this, but if you did, you are amazing. It's almost two hours long. Like, this call's been going for an hour and 59 minutes. Yeah, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'm giving them 10 out of 10. Da, it's okay. Da. It's okay, 10 out of 10. What 10 out of 10? What eh again? <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, yes, we did ramble a hell of a lot, but goddamn was it fun. Come on, you can't tell me that you did not have fun with some of our rambles there. This, is, this was pretty enjoyable. Plus, we, it, we, gave, we gave a good idea for a reactors like Cherry Sketch. Yeah, yes. I was admittedly I was actually talking to the viewers, but that works too. Mm -hmm. but, but yes, our ramblings was needed, not for something. It was needed for some things, and it added extra humor. So bear with us for that. And to those of you who said, who lasted the entire thing in one sitting, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> but yeah, you're not human. You're not the <laughs> only one, guys. If you if you sat through the whole thing, because I'm I'm gonna do it too when I'm editing. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll I'll just say okay. This is this has been Pied Slager. Thanks for joining us, Max. And yeah. this hasn't been Deathborn. Thank you. Yeah. I just want. To... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Max, for joining us. Why would us. people think that? This, yeah, that's true. I forgot to thank you, Max, for joining us as a guest. That's that's. Hey, don't worry, I did it. <laughs> sort of. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Brony Monster did it, but I <laughs> I would so feel wrong if I didn't do it too. Please. At least and, this, and, and this is the second wheel saying, see ya. It's been a pleasure being a third wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the bronze medal. <laughs> that bronze kneecap. That big bronze kneecap. Oh, I wear my bronze with, pr with pride, really. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it ends. That's how it ends. End video.